This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Debug the sprite name. So I hit run and we got a cherry and some squares. The program below is trying to draw the same sprite in three different positions, but only one of them is showing up. What's happening here? Can you fix it? All right, so we have sprite, sprite, sp ah, whoa. All of these have the exact same name. So we have three variables called sprite, and then we set the cherry to three variables. That is rough. So what the computer is going to do then is create a sprite here, sprite here, sprite here. And then, okay, and then it sets the image of sprite to cherry, cherry, cherry. But that, it shares one name. So we create a sprite, then we move the sprite, then we move it. We're redeclaring the exact same variable. This is just mean. So we want to have names that are clear for the computer and for us. You cannot name something exactly the same thing three times because it's impossible for the computer to know the difference. If I want one cherry in the middle and one cherry on the right, if I name them both sprite, I can't tell it to put sprite middle and right. That doesn't make any, nope, computers can't. So what I would do then is this is X value. So this is on the right side. Um, but I'll name this here. I'll name this three for the 300 X value Two, I'll name for the 200 X value and one I'll name for the 100 in the X spot. Now I have three different variables. So now if I do that as one, that is two. And I should probably even be more descriptive than this, right? Uh, maybe ideally I would have done cherry one, cherry two, cherry three. That is also a great way to go about this, and it is more descriptive. Let's see. But uh, make sure you have different variable names. You can't have identical names. It confuses us and the computer. Also, make sure that you always have set animation under the variable declaration. I could have this up here. That's fine. But I just must have where the variable is made above this. Boom, boom, onward.